In the previous video, we created a basic dedicated package for the new theme. Now, let's move forward. Hello, everyone. Today, we'll explore how to integrate Vite into this package. To start, we will copy all the shop views that are likely to be modified in your package. For this, let's navigate to the shop package. If you look at the resources, you'll see all the pages that are likely to require modification. To proceed, we will copy the necessary folders and paste them into our new package. Once done, the resources path will reflect the copied content. Let's delete any unnecessary folders and add all the required ones here. Now, we have all the shop package views included in our new theme package, enabling us to modify any changes. However, for this video, we will focus solely on configuring Vite. To start the Vite configuration, we will return to the shop package. Here it is. First, we will take a copy of the package.json file, along with the postcss.config.js, tailwind.config.js, and vite.config.js files, as these are the files we actually need. We will paste these files into the root folder of the new theme package. Now, in the root folder, we have the necessary files set up. The package.json, the post CSS and Tailwind configurations, and the Vite configuration file. We will make a few changes. We will rename the hot file to shop new theme Vite. Update the build directory to reflect the new theme. Modify the public directory and ensure the hot file path is correct. This also configures the Tailwind CSS and post CSS settings alongside the package.json file. Next, we will install the NPM dependencies. To do this, we navigate to the directory using the path cd packages web cool new theme. Once inside, we run the command npm install or npm i to install all the required npm dependencies for the project. Meanwhile, the dependencies will continue installing. Let's update the configuration file in the theme directory. In this directory, we have the new theme. Within this new theme, there is a Vite key, and we will update it to reflect the new theme as well. Now everything is configured. We have a vite.config.js file, a tailwind.config.js file, a postcss.config.js file, and a package.json file. Next, let's prepare a build. To do this, we will run the command npm run build. Oh, it seems we have encountered an error. Let's investigate this issue. Upon checking the vite.config.js file, we notice there is no CSS path. That's fine, we can resolve it. Let's also copy the assets. Navigate to the shop directory, locate the assets, and copy them. These assets are also required, so let's paste them into the new theme package. Now, we have all the assets and views in place. At this point, the setup is still related to the shop, but as you begin modifying it, everything will be customized according to the new theme. For now, we are focusing on the configuration. Let's run the build command again. If you look inside the public folder, there is a build directory. However, that's not the one we need. Navigate to the theme directory, and within the shop folder, you will find a new theme folder. This folder contains all the assets that we registered in the build directory. All your assets are now located in this directory. Finally, refreshing the page will reflect these changes. So here it is. However, we have not yet refreshed the published directory. Let's start by publishing it. This time, we are using the force flag, but as a general rule, do not use the force flag unless it's absolutely necessary. In this case, since I currently don't have anything in the directory, I am using the force flag. Keep in mind that the force command overrides all changes in the theme directory, so use it wisely. Now, with the force flag applied, all changes are forced. If I refresh the directory, you will see a list of all the views present in this directory. Upon refreshing the page again, I now see a clean page. The reason nothing appears inside at the moment is that I haven't yet set up the theme carousel or sliders via the admin panel. We'll explore that setup in the next videos. For now, our focus is on Vite. Let's concentrate on Vite first. At this point, the build directory is in place and the views directory is located just below it. Everything is configured properly. Now, let me proceed to change the color. For example, let's change the navy blue color to black, just as a demonstration. 
Currently, you can see that many elements are displayed in blue, such as buttons. If I show you the sign-in page, you'll notice the button is blue. Let's change all of these colors to black for this demonstration. To achieve this, I'll update everything to black, the buttons, background, and other elements. Now, we'll run the build again inside the new theme package. To do this, navigate to the directory using CD Packages Web Cool New Theme and execute the build command. Once the build is successful, if we refresh the page, you'll see that all the blue elements have been replaced with black. Comparing the default theme and the new theme, you'll notice the default theme uses blue as its primary color, while the new theme now uses black. If I refresh other normal pages, you'll see that everything has been updated to black. This is just a demonstration to show basic changes. You can create your own configurations according to your needs. Additionally, you can change settings such as screen size, container settings, or any other customization required for the new theme. Remember, all changes you make will apply to your new theme and not to the default theme. Let's build again to revert the pages back to their previous state. With this demonstration, we've successfully updated the colors and completed the setup for Vite. In the next video, we will explore the theme sections from the admin panel, set up a few theme types, and observe their reflections in our new theme. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.